Hello! And welcome to a Grim Oak Press Unboxing. This, my friends, long overdue, I apologize on this. It's been a crazy month. This one's been sitting in a corner for a couple days. Because time is irrelevant. This, my friends, is a Grim Oak Press Unboxing of The Power That Preserves. By Stephen R. Donaldson. Let's get that out of the way. The third title in the original trilogy of Thomas Covenant, The Unbelievable Believer. The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, The Unbeliever. Uh, of course, this title is still available online, but I'll get to that in a second. Of course, you have your Grim Oak Press slipcase. The titles do not automatically come with slipcases. You have to buy them extra, which, you know, it's a business model. I appreciate it because I know not a lot of people want slipcases. Personally, I do. So you always get a, when you pre-order your book, pre-order pre -order slipcase as well because they're gorgeous. And, you know, they come out the same time as the book and it helps protect your book and shipping. Anyways, the power that preserves, let's dive into this. Was Now, I, I did not pull the other two Donaldson titles off my shelf, but for some reason I remember the, the dust jackets being a little more glossy than this. This is a very matte finish, little, you know, shine on the text itself. Anyways, The Power That Preserves, the third title in the Chronicles of Tom Thomas Covenant, The Unbeliever. Oh, we're going to look at that signature page in a second. Uh, once again, the third title featuring gorgeous artwork by Alan Morris. Uh, Alan Morris is a regular over at Grim Oak Press, and damn, does he do a good job. Uh, he's doing the Bulgariad as well. And I believe, oh, was he doing another one too? You have to be doing the other ones, too. I don't think he's doing any of the, uh, the Feist titles, but now I'm questioning all my life. Anyways, signature there from Stephen R. Donaldson and Alan Morris. I love Alan Morris' signature. You can't really get a name out of that, but it just kind of looks very artsy. And it's not like it's a quick signature, either. Like, you have, like, he's, it's not like just a scribble. He's, he's putting, deep, like, you know, some time into those. Uh, number 86 to match my other copies. Uh, the previous two titles, art by Alan Morris. There it is. Uh, for those who you, uh, those of you who are unfamiliar with Thomas Covenant, uh, he is a very cynical author of the real world. Recently diagnosed with leprosy, uh, which is not great for him. Um, but through a happenstance, he keeps getting transported to this world, which is called the Land. It's an alternate universe that's very much like a fantasy novel. And uh, he has been called to the land uh, twice now uh, to save the land from Lord Fowl. Uh, this is his third journey into the land. He's just, he's, you know, he's just appearing there. He's just sort of waking up, get a head injury, wake up in a strange land. You know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, this is his third time to be called back to the land to save it. It's very well written. Great series. Very much, ex very much excited for it to get the small press treatment that Grim Oak Press does. Nice little black and white illustrations throughout from Alan Morris. I think there's ten illustrations. There's just a ton of them. Uh, but yeah, uh, this title is still available. I think the the second title uh, is also still available. Ill Earth War. Um, the first title, which is Lord Fowl's Bane. Uh, is sold out. So you do have to go to the secondary market if you want to get that one. Although, was were they... No, I was going to say, were they... Did, did Stephen R. Donaldson just get some Eastern Press love? Uh, because I know Raymond Feist, or even the Feist, got some Eastern Press love. I don't believe that Donaldson got recent Eastern Press editions. Although now I'm doubting myself as I say that aloud. It could be one, because I know Eastern Press has been getting more into uh, fantasy. They've been given, I said, uh, Raymond E. Feist some more love, and they might have given Donaldson some love, too. Or I could be making that up. Maybe you just got to go to the secondary market. Anyways, you can actually buy, I mean, you can buy paperbacks of this for pretty cheap if you wanted to check it out, if you want to read Lord Fowl's Bane that way. Or go over to Grim Oak Press to get... The limited edition of titles two and three. You can't get title one, at least not directly through them. But uh, you know, titles two and three. You can you can buy those. 
I don't know if they have slipcases still available because they don't really buy too many extra slipcases uh, or stock too many extra slipcases. But if you can, get your hands on a slipcase because they're gorgeous. Easton Press, they very much have a similar aesthetic, especially with the bonded leather for a lot of their titles. But damn, is it a good aesthetic that I absolutely love. Uh, they've got a lot of great titles on the horizon, some more Terry Brooks. Uh, they've, they're going to be doing some more. Uh, I know they're doing at least uh, the original trilogy for Dragon Riders of Pern from Anne McCaffrey. They already did Dragonflight. That one is sold out as well. Uh, they're doing some Naomi Novik. Oh, they've got a whole bunch on the horizon. A lot of great things coming from Grimoak Press uh, in that fantasy realm. One of the best small press fantasy publishers out there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please check out Grimoak Press, as well as the sister site, uh, the signed page. Both are owned and operated by Sean Speakman, uh, where Grimoak Press does their own publications. Uh, the signed page covers uh, signed editions of just, you know, mass-produced, mass-market uh, hardcovers and paperbacks, uh, particularly fantasy, but they get some horror and some science fiction in there as well, you know, to cover all the bases. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And please consider subscribing, and we will see you around next time.